Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and of course, welcome all back to a pretty gosh darn cool and special video and this is a video for NerdBlock. So if you've never heard of NerdBlock, basically what it is, it's a service uh, where I think you pay about 20 to $25 depending on where you reside. And then you also pay shipping, I think it's about ten dollars or so maybe a little bit less than that actually um, I don't remember the specific amount because it's actually uh, different for the US or Canada depending on where you reside uh, and of course what it is is that basically once a month you receive this box which looks really really cool as you can see with nerd block designs and stuff and inside it is some goodies It's basically usually comes with like a t-shirt and some other goodies usually you end up getting way more uh, value than what you pay for which is really really cool but they uh, there's also that really fun element of surprise where you don't know what's inside. So, I have to warn you guys right off the bat, this was sent to me uh, as kind of like a review thing, so I personally did not pay for this, so based on what's in here, I will definitely be determining and deciding whether or not I want to pick up one of these uh, and subscribe to, uh, to this particular service, but again, as always, I'm always transparent with you guys, and I always want to be honest with you guys in that sense. Of course, you can go ahead and visit nerdblock.com. I'm just going to cover up just in case my address and stuff like that, uh, and then there's facebook.com slash nerdblock, uh, Twitter at nerdblock, and of course, Instagram as well. So, without further ado, let's get rocking and rolling. We're going to go ahead and cut this at the top. By the way, I will We'll also be doing an unboxing of the NerdBlock Junior. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. Well, this is already worth it for me because I've never, I never get to see these figures uh, for some reason at local stores. All right. So first off, we get a nice deep. Whoa, this is like high quality shirt. Like it feels like a high quality shirt at least. All right. So we got a nice Pokemon T-shirt. This is really awesome. <laughs> it says Pocket Monster Containment Capsule. I'm not sure what it says here. Probably the same thing in Japanese. This looks cool though. This is a nice shirt and uh, I got myself a medium size. It says Series 1 uh, in 1997. This is really neat. I'm really surprised by the quality of the actual shirt. Uh, this is Gildon Soft Style. It's 100% cotton, so it's not one of those uh, crammy shirts. I'm actually like touching it right now and it feels really good so that's great all right let's see what else we get so this thing is awesome we get ourselves a little pop figure which is the harley quinn figurine so let's go ahead and pull that out of there oh and it glows in the dark that is really cool it's a previous exclusive actually so that makes it even more special okay can i make it i can't make it dark in here right now guys because it's still daytime unfortunately but maybe if i if i do that could you see it Kind of glowing, maybe? I'm not sure if you could see glow, but I'm assuming this part right here would glow in the dark. The white part uh, would glow. Is there a head joint here? Oh, okay, so it just rotates. Uh, I love how she's got the little bottle cap gun. <laughs> That's quite cool. All right, some really nice paint on this. And I think that these typically retail for, I think, $10, maybe. Maybe a little more in Canada, actually. So that's really cool. We got ourselves a pop figure plus the T-shirt. So that's already kind of a nice value right off the bat. So I'm very, very uh, surprised by that. Oh, cool. There's more stuff. I thought that that's all you get. All right. So we also get ourselves a Mini Keens Mini Figures from series number two. So this looks kind of interesting. Let's uh, let's open this up. These look like the Garbage Pail Kids, uh, I, I guess, in figure form now. So let's see what we got. Oh, sorry. On the back, I guess there's pictures of all the characters that you can get. So let's see who we got. Oh, you can get a, You actually get a couple of them. <laughs> so we get this really upset lady, it looks like. Uh, she's not too happy with an axe. And these are like soft rubbery figures, so that's quite neato. But, oh, look at this. We also end up with a Yeti. That is pretty gosh darn cool. He comes with a little sticker as well. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, these guys are really cool. I should probably try to get some. Oh, you get another sticker, actually. You get a sticker for each one of them. So these are Minikins Mad Mike. Sticker 5 of 26, and this is sticker 26 of 26. That is quite cool indeed. Look at that. <laughs> I should maybe get some of these for uh, the, my blind box videos. These are fun. All right, uh, let's see, what else do you get in here? Oh, looks like you get a Doctor Who magazine. So I'm personally uh, not a big fan of Doctor Who. I think I've seen like one half of an episode. Oh, look at this, it says it's a nerd block exclusive, I'm assuming, so let's see. Is this like a comic book or, or like a book book or like a magazine? I don't know, let's find out. Oh wow, there's actually two books in there. Does it come with like a French version as well, maybe? I'm not sure because it's in Canada. Oh, okay. 
you actually end up with two different comics. Oh, and is there a poster? What is this? What might this be? This looks like a... Oh, okay. This is a piece of paper. <laughs> I, I got way too excited for that. Okay, so you end up with two different um, books for Doctor Who. This is the 10th Doctor, and this is the 11th Doctor. So let's see. Oh, they are comics. Sweet. All right, so you get a little bit of a nice story. This is some really cool art. And I'm assuming it's a Nerd Block exclusive cover because it says Nerd Block right in the corner. This is really cool. I wonder who publishes these. Um, hmm, it does not actually say, unfortunately. Wow, but these retail for $4 each. So this is $8, $18, uh, plus the little mini keens. Probably two or three dollars, so we're talking 20 bucks. Then the t-shirt is probably at least 15 dollars. So this is 35 dollars uh, worth of stuff. Oh, and that's not even all! There is more! Okay, uh, we got a Bravest vo uh, Warrior keychain, and... On top of that, oh, okay, so you get a nice little uh, box here. I mean, a nice little insert that tells you what you got. So we got Garbage P Pale Kids minifigures, which reads, They're back, blurring the line between horribly gross and yet somehow equally cute. This retro brand has returned from yesteryear. If you grew up in the 80s, you probably stashed Garbage Pale Kids under your bed so your parents wouldn't see them. Then we also get ourselves a Bravest Warrior keychain. And uh, I don't know who is the character that we got here. Uh, but I have seen the promos for Bravest Warriors. And it looked like a pretty fun cartoon. I'm actually not sure if I can actually take it off right now. I probably won't be able to because the plastic there is pretty tight. But you can see the Bravest Warrior right there. Which looks quite cool indeed. <laughs> it's got like a ladybug uh, design. That's pretty neat. Though. I like the art style on this. Alright, that will go on my keychain for sure. Man, my keychain is becoming huge after all the stuff that I've attached to it. But, on top of that here, it says actually about the comics here, uh, New Adventures with the 10th Doctor Nerd Block Exclusive. Follow the adventures of the 10th Doctor through space and time in the first of this brand new series. And then there's also the 11th Doctor who returns in the inaugural comic book with an exclusive Nerd Block cover. And we also get ourselves a Pokemon shirt, which is quite cool indeed. And then, of course, on the back here, it also says the Funko Batman slash Harley Quinn PK, which I'm not sure, or PX, sorry, uh, previews exclusive. I'm assuming that's what it stands for. Uh, and this is quite cool. So it looks like you could have gotten either a Batman or a Harley, I guess. I'm assuming that that's what it is. And uh, Nerd Certified Product of the Month. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. So uh, right off the bat, I will say... I will definitely, definitely uh, be considering to subscribe to this now because this is really cool. Like, for me personally, uh, the Doctor Who comics is not, like, something that is kind of like a sale point or a sale kind of like uh, something that sells me on it because I'm not a big fan of uh, Doctor Who. Again, sorry if I offend anybody. And I'm not a big fan of it, not because I think it's bad. It's just because I haven't watched enough of it. The keychain is cool. These guys actually surprised me. I actually like these minifigures. They're awesome. I love this little Yeti guy. They're going to go on my minifigure shelf, which is right next to the camera. Uh, I would pan over there, but it's a big mess. <laughs> I really love the shirt. I think that the shirt, uh, except for the Harley Quinn figure, is my favorite part. Because this shirt just feels really nice. Uh, like, I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Like, it feels like a really nice quality shirt, which is a really, really pleasant surprise. And then, of course, we get a nice exclusive Harley Quinn here. So, again, overall, I'm very, very happy with this package. I think that it's definitely a great, great value. And, of course, it adds that little fun element that, you know, once a month, there's this box that comes to your door. And you don't know what exactly is going to be in it, but you know that it's going to be some really cool, nerdy, geeky things inside. And then you open it up, and it's like, bam, you got some really cool things. And hopefully, of course, if you're a fan of these multiple nerdy franchises, then more and more uh, does the value kind of become, um, th more and more the box becomes valuable for you, I should say. So, with all that being said, guys, there you have it. That is the Nerd Block unboxing. Now, we'll be also doing a Nerd Block Junior unboxing as well, so stay tuned for that. It should be going up on the same date that you see this video, so hopefully that will be live in just a moment. But with all that being said, of course, thank you guys so very much for watching. Of course, you guys are absolutely awesome. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up the video. Check the description box below for some nerd block goodness if you would like to subscribe to it. By the way, they also have this thing called Horror Block, which I am kind of considering to uh, sign up to as well. Like, I'm probably going to sign up to Nerd Block now because I think it would make for a really fun video once a month. So, plus they're a Canadian company, which is also awesome. So, I'm definitely considering to do that. Uh, but they also have this... Uh, well, I'm going to subscribe to NerdBlock, and then I'm going to consider to subscribe to Horror Block as well, uh, which is basically kind of like you get this uh, pack 
of like horror goodies as well. So sounds really interesting and sounds really, really fun. Now, as far as the Nordblock Jr., I don't know about that yet. We will find out in the next video. So with all that being said, as I said before, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, guys. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, here's the Spider-Man logo, and actually these are really cool, huh? And of course, the closer you push it up to a wall or something, the more clear it will be. So, let's continue cycling through these. Then we've got Spidey in this kind of crouching pose. <laughs> that one is kind of freaky looking, actually, now that I see it. Okay, next up, by the way, this will take two AA batteries, so you will need to um, go ahead and uh, pick up some batteries if you want this to work. But this is pretty neat though, actually. Look at that. Bam! That looks pretty sweet. Next, we've got, I think this is kind of like a sitting, crouching kind of pose. Very similar to that second one we saw. But you can see another variation there. Then, ooh, this one should be cool. Nice, there's the spidey head. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. And obviously the closer you put it up to the wall, the more clear it will be. That's pretty neat though. And finally, looks like we've got the actual spider that uh, mutated Peter Parker into Spider-Man, and that is uh, the regular spider right there. That could actually be kind of fun, like to scare somebody, just be like, oh my god, what's on the wall? La la la. <laughs> that would be terrifying. So, nonetheless, guys, as I said before, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, cheerleaders. Bye-bye.